Hello friends, welcome to the Seated Scribe, a channel where we discuss pens and writing. And I am Rudrashish Dr. Today's review episode will be a first for an important reason. We shall be reviewing a product we have never reviewed before, coming from a company that we have never mentioned or visited before. Also, and interestingly, this is the same company that was drafted into the making of metallic components for use in the battlefield during the Second World War for their expertise in making reliable metallic products. Friends, today we will be reviewing a product from the 101 year old German manufacturer Diplomat with the pen branded Diplomat Excellence A2 in pearl white color and a fine nib. Diplomat has been continuously engaged in pen manufacturing by hand for a century and their care for the individual product reflects in the experience that we get while using a Diplomat pen. Their designs have no doubt evolved with the times and they usually specialize in crafting pens of the basic metal brass giving their pens an almost indestructible ethos. Friends, without any further delay, let us now go to the pen. Well friends, Diplomat Excellence A2 has come in a packet like these. It carries the typical logo of Diplomat with the date of their inception. 1922 and at this end we have a sticker containing details of the pen uh, and the importer so otherwise this is a cardboard uh, box let me open this to see what is inside okay so there is an inner possibly made of some fibrous fabric the outer sleeve so we draw it away and here is the box that contains the pen so this is quite aesthetically designed Okay, so here we have the pen couched in a small slit on a bed of sponge and we need this. Okay, so we have an international warranty card of Diplomat. And Diplomat pens usually carry a warranty for five years from the date of purchase, irrespective of uh, all the types of pens. So let me keep it aside. And they have also supplied us with a converter. Okay. So let me put it here and see well there is nothing else in the box so let me put the box aside and look at the pen well this pen which is marketed as diplomat excellence a2 in pearl white color is fairly heavy the basic metal that is used in both the barrel and the cap is brass as I understand and these trims are steel trims. Okay, the pen feels fairly formidable and robust. Well, the clip is the typical diplomat's clip with A narrowing and a widening at this point there is a teardrop shaped 
punching through which we can see the base <coughs> sorry metal <coughs> and on the top of the finial we have the diplomat logo the top end of which is flush with the middle section of the clip this clip is interesting for a number of reasons one of which is that this is both spring loaded as well as hinge fitted if i can focus it for you there is a hinge here which actually makes the use of the clip fairly easy as you can see well a mere pressure at this end is enough to activate the clip and as you can see this is rarely found in most fountain pens uh, the clip is actually made of solid it's not hollow inside it's made of solid piece of metal <coughs> sorry it is made of a solid piece of metal and there are at this point where the clip is supposed to engage with the fabric there are striations <coughs> sorry striations which will actually increase the friction and hold the pen in place so everything about the clip is a specimen of the impeccable diplomat engineering so this is the and the barrel sorry the metal band at the cap end reads diplomat i don't know whether i am focusing it rightly for you diplomat since 1922 and at the other end we have this etching made in german made in german so this is the cap interestingly this pen is clipped shut it's the it's not threaded so we have this typical locking sound which will lock the pen fairly securely and now let me keep the cap aside and look at the pen okay so with regard to the nib <coughs> the nib is manufactured in house by diplomat it's a steel nib containing the usual design of the logo of diplomat followed by the word diplomat and the year of its inception and then the f indicating fine nib i have deliberately opted for a fine because the other diplomat that i have is a medium and i just wanted uh, as a matter of academic interest to see how far the medium of the diplomat of the same series is different from the fine in terms of thickness and fluidity of writing so this is the nib the feed is plastic the feed is plastic and with regard to the section there this is metallic there is a flare at the end followed by a depression and then gradually the section widens to a step up at this point the junction of the barrel and the section and at this point it is the highest in terms of girth followed by a gradual tapering to the other end of the finial which is also metallic shiny metal and flat it's it's not perfectly flat it's slightly rounded a pleasing rounded shape okay the entire section as i've said is made of brass and 
the color is actually lacquer on brass colored lacquer on brass so we have the sense of solidity with regard to both the cap and the pen so let me unwind the barrel okay so they have already supplied i won't require this extra cartridge now they have already supplied and fitted uh, with a diplomat cartridge a uh, sorry converter which i'll be inking up to test how the pen writes again if you can see it it's diplomat made in germany the threaded section is metallic and interestingly we also have a rubber gasket at this end which will actually cushion the repeated screwing unscrewing pressure that will fall on this part and this actually makes this section sturdy many companies take a great deal of pains to make it reliable in the sense of uh, providing protective barriers such as these o-rings some companies don't but nevertheless a diplomat does it with most of the pens and there is another interesting part of uh, this barrel this barrel is around a millimeter and a half thick thick the inner threaded section is steel and the actual body of the barrel is brass so everything about the pen feels very very sturdy no nonsensical but at the same time aesthetic because if you look at the color of this pen it's not exactly white but pearl white it has i don't know whether my light is catching it there is a slight shimmer of white which is actually reminiscent of a pearl in both the lacquer coating of the barrel as well as the clip so as well as the cap so this is aesthetically very very appealing and pleasing to me now this is the pen i'll be inking this pen up with well waterman mysterious blue and i'll see how the pen fares under actual writing circumstances but this time i am not taking a 100 gsm paper but a thinner 70 gsm sheet to see how the pen fares under actual writing circumstances and please note friends waterman mysterious blue is of the medium viscosity that is it is neither too thin or watery not too thick so i guess this would match well with the fine nib version of diplomat excellence and uh, let's see how this combination fares in an ordinary paper which is 60 or 70 gsm thickness well friends i have inked up this pen with waterman mysterious blue and i will be using an ordinary notebook to see how this fine nib version of diplomat fares under actual writing circumstances and whether this pen can be a trouble free everyday carry Well, friends, the pen is wet by a fine nib standard, and as we can see, the tip of the nib delivers quite a copious amount of ink on paper. It's not something that would be too bothering 
the only issue that may happen under such circumstances is the letters may take a couple of seconds more to dry otherwise in terms of smoothness this pen is very very smooth it has just that slight element of feedback which is very often reassuring to fountain pen users like me and uh, so this is it now let me see whether it has scope for nib width variations well no it's a stiff steel nib no variations of the calligraphy type are actually possible under such circumstances and i would not recommend putting the tip of the nib under uh, pressure to carve out something calligraphic out of it because this pen is not meant to be used as a calligraphic nib under any circumstances so friends please do not uh, try and convert it into some form of a makeshift calligraphic nib by uh, putting undue pressure because uh, the tip of the pen is not flexing at all it's fairly rigid it is very smooth but fairly rigid i don't get any any hint of flexibility here oh and with regard to such nibs therefore we ought to be cautious as to not attempting to divide the tines through pressure and get some form of a calligraphic experience other than this this is a very very smooth writer it's well it can be an everyday carry surely because it, it the fine nib version has the has just the right amount of thickness the right feeling of smoothness with that slight hint of a feedback and there is one thing which i'd like to comment with regard to this pen and if you can notice it very carefully uh, this section is fairly smooth so with regard to those who may be having sweaty fingers uh, this can be an element of bother under prolonged writing sessions other than this i find that this pen if it is gripped at the fag end of the gripping section to the nib tip this is larger than an average fountain pen uh, which have six sized nibs and the reason why this distance is more so if you are gripping this part and writing the surface of the paper would be around an inch or, a, or slightly more uh, which is in any case for a six side sized nib fairly large or the distance may be slightly more it is not that it bothers much but this is something which i thought i would be commenting on and the reason for this is let me focus it for you i don't know whether i am able to focus it the end of the plastic feed and the nib this distance is around 5 mm if i can make an assessment out of seeing the distance 5 mm which is usually a couple of millimeters more than the usual distance that we get in the ordinary six sized nib so this perhaps explains why the distance between this part and the end the tip may be greater to some hands and as i've said it's not an issue that will bother writing or the or impact the quality of writing it is just that it is and traditionally diplomat pens do uh, have this gap of around over an inch with six size nibs and so this is an issue which i thought of uh, sharing with you uh, so that you can expect accordingly if you get hold of a diplomat excellence a2 
so so this pen is practical practically a pen without a flaw as i can see it just the right amount of thickness the right amount of ink that is delivered it is slightly wet but not uncomfortably wet maybe we will have to wait for a few seconds more to let the letters dry but otherwise this is a very very good pen and can be used as an everyday carry though some users tell that diplomat pens are slightly more than average priced in terms of the product that they sell well this is something which is entirely a personal judgment i won't comment on whether it's a, a good product that matches the money that it costs that depends on individual users but i have friends who do find diplomat pens very very pleasing no nonsense uh, and very sturdy which can take uh, any number of knocks and still remain that diplomat pen so thank you friends this is all that i had to say on the diplomat excellence a2 in pearl white version and a fine nib uh, well whether it can be recommended as an edc yes definitely it can be recommended as an edc but it's slightly on the heavier side and i would end with taking a weight of the pen so that uh, if this is an issue that can be of help for those who may be otherwise wanting pens which are light this is a metallic pen a brass pen and therefore it's not very light so it's 46.89 grams or 88 grams with the ink inside the cartridge and the writing section alone weighs 28 grams so it's heavy but not uncomfortably heavy and the cap weighs something around uh, well 18.38 or 40 grams so this is the weight of the pen it since it's a brass pen a full metal body we do expect such pens to be heavier than usual uh, but nevertheless i don't think it's a pen that is too heavy to bother fountain pen users and so that's it that's it friends with regard to this pen uh, thank you for watching and please come back so that we can provide you with more reviews more quality content and do ask questions in the comment section if you have any comments or clarifications to make thank you for watching keep safe goodbye